solve the fraction in the parentheses first and I'm going to rewrite them in terms of tenths so a half is 5 out of 10 and 2 fifths is 4 out of 10 um, and now I can add these two fractions if you're stuck on how to do that a half if I want to write it as tenths I think how many times to multiply 2 to get to 10 well 5 times and then I have to do, to do the same thing to the numerator so 1 times 5 is 5 with 2 out of 5 to get to tenths, I have to multiply 5 by 2, and then the 2 by the same number. So I get 4 tenths. And when I add, I go right across on top and get 9. And then, well, we're adding tenths. So we don't add 10 plus 10 to get 20. We don't want to change that. We still want to get tenths. So we have 9 tenths divided by 2 thirds is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, 3 over 2. And we get 27 over 20. That's our answer for this problem. And the next problem, we have an average, and they know that they scored 60 points in the first game and 50 points in the second game. What did they score in the third game to get an average of 51? So I added these three scores up, divide by 3, and get 51. So I'm going to solve for x. Multiply both sides by 3. 151 times 3 is 153. 3 times all this stuff and then divided by 3 is just all this stuff times 1 or divided by 1, so we don't need these numbers. 60 plus 50 is 110 plus x. Subtract 110 from both sides, and that tells us our third game would have had to have been 43 points. In the next problem, um, I like this problem, we got um, an, a y axis and an x axis. Let me fix that. It should be tilted. The y-axis, oops, ah, it's hard to draw. <laughs> the y-axis goes straight up and down, and the x-axis goes left and right. Y and x. We know that the square has a side somewhere on the y-axis, and is 10 units long. And we also know that it has a side on the x-axis, which is 10 units long. So it could be 10 here. It actually can't be 10 there, sorry, because if it was, then the sides of y would have to go up and down and not be on the y-axis. So if I wanted to figure out where this square could be, I can think, oh, it could be 10 up here and 10 this way. It could be a square like this. Or, let me clone this square. I can move it down here. So now it's 10 on the y-axis and 10 on the x-axis or I can move it here, turn a little bit to fit. It would be 10 on the y and 10 on the x, or here. In all four cases, the only point that we can actually have for all the squares is 0, 0, which is our answer. Uh, number 97, oops. Part um, 97 is A. The only point that the square must have is the origin.